Well, Essa Telecommun uh, Telecom, rather, the operator of the U brand, has stepped up the fight for subscribers by allowing them to call for free during the day as it races to reverse its falling market share. We cross now to Nairobi, where Madhur Taneja, country manager for Essa Telecom Kenya, is standing by to give us more details about the telecoms company's growth strategy. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon, Madhur. Let's start off at the top because looking at what you've put on the table here, free Three calls during the day of four subscribers of the U brand seems a bit extreme. Run us through the rationale. Uh, the reason has to be compelling for the customer. Once you have already gone ahead and launched in a market with a world-class network, with world-class customer experience, uh, you need to be able to give a compelling reason to the customer to experiment a young brand like us, which has just been in Kenya for two and a half years. And what could be more compelling than giving a free all-day offer, which of course means that customers will be able to talk on the network, which is U-Mobile to U-Mobile completely free. Yes, uh, this offer is a promotion, as we can see. Also, we are going to be charging on the other legs, but then we wanted to pool in all our resources to make at least one big uh, experience for our customers when they actually log on to U-Mobile and they, they start experiencing completely free calls. Compelling for the consumer, what about sustainability for your business itself? Because we had this debate raging on when price wars ensued over in Kenya at the start of this year where you know sustainability of a strategy like this has got to be questioned. Uh, one thing which has to be uh, taken into consideration uh, corporate who gets into any telecommunication industry in any country in the world uh, is there for a long-term play and uh, after spending 400 million dollars the commitment to the market and to the industry is of very high nature. Uh, SR Telecom uh, for the U-Mobile brand in Kenya has uh, got into with the commitment. It's just two and a half years of a journey here. We already have 1.6 million subscribers. Uh, we are looking at a long-term play. Uh, important for us is are we being able to stay relevant to our customers? Are we being able to give a reason for our customers to try, which has been built, which is world class? Uh, this is a way by which they'll be able to get on to our network. Having said this, yes, uh, while they'll be able to enjoy free voice calls all day long, they'll still end up paying to us in the evening and in the night. Mm -hmm. They would still be able to have to pay us on the SMS, on data, also on other value-added services like uh, ringback tones, etc. So overall, if you ask, uh, is it uh, too good to be true? Yes, it is. But are there other revenue streams? Yes, there are. Is it sustainable? Absolutely, it's sustainable. Are they going to have to compensate, uh, you know, on the other uh, payments that they do make? Uh, you know, so some would say that uh, we may well see some of the other tariffs for which these customers are being charged uh, move higher. Uh, no, not really. Uh, when we decided to come up with an offer like this, we didn't want to actually take away the uh, charges higher on the other legs of calling. No, we didn't want to do that. Instead, what we have been focusing on for last one year, and uh, it's very, very heartening for us that uh, today the cost of producing a minute for you mobile is the lowest in Kenya and possibly in East Africa. What uh, kind of market share do you currently own within the Kenyan market, uh, Madhur? And what's your target over the short to medium term? Uh, right now, we are at 7% uh, market share. This market is uh, ruled by one operator. And uh, that is one of the challenge, considering the industry has been more than a decade uh, old. And uh, we, we are the last operator which entered the market. So in terms of the market share, it is close to 7%. Uh, we would like to take it to uh, a, a double digit number. Mm -hmm. Uh, close to doubling it up in a, in a time period of around two years. Uh, while you embark on this new initiative, by no means are the other players sitting on their laurels. I mean, we've got Barty Airtel, we've got Safaricom just as aggressive in their marketing strategies. What's your assessment of the competitive landscape? Uh, we find all the players to be very committed, uh, very serious. We have seen them 
taking the pricing initiatives, especially in last uh, one year after they having seen that the new operators like U-Mobile have come in for a long-term play and they are also equally committed to the growth of the market. Uh, everyone is uh, in increasing their aggression in the marketplace. Uh, it is good for Kenyan consumer to be able to get the best of the offerings. I think the, definitely there is a slant or there is a shift of market dynamics in favor of consumers, which is very good. Uh, Kenya always has been a flagship market for East Africa, if not Africa, where we have seen a lot of firsts. And with this shift of balance moving in favor of consumers, I think the seriousness will be even higher. All the companies will be forced to focus on their own cost structures, mm -hmm. and they'll definitely will have to evaluate their own long-term play by ensuring that their cost structures are in line with the pricing strategies what they take. So I do see Kenya as a market of great opportunity, and of course the market will continue growing the way it has been growing, especially in last four quarters. Uh, the voice market aside, there's strong emphasis having been placed over the recent past on data, most especially. What strides are you making in that regard? Uh, we, are, uh, we have invested into the capacities for data. Uh, while we are onto a particular technology, but even more important, we have got dedicated pipes uh, which ensure that data speeds are the best in terms of uh, the competitive landscape. Uh, data has been used a lot by consumers. Most of the data consumption by consumers is happening through a mobile handset. Two, in terms of what they're using it for, largely it is for either checking their emails or it is browsing on the net. Either way, if we look at it, uh, the usage is increasing and it is increasing on handsets. So there are two challenges. One is to be able to give dedicated speeds, dedicated bandwidth so that the consumers can enjoy the data. Two, it is in terms of the pricing again, because uh, data in past has been very, very expensive and very difficult to understand. That's where U-Mobile is also working on in terms of making it very simple from a consumer mm -hmm. perspective the way voice call is similarly making data as simple to understand. We've seen Safaricom enjoy the benefits of extrapolating from synergies and that with uh, you know, players within the financial arena and uh, putting forward mobile banking specifically. Are there uh, synergies like that that you will be exploring down the line? Uh, we already have a platform in which we are being able to do the mobile money. It's called Ucash. I think in terms of all the operators, especially about you mobile, uh, in terms of synergy, it's not the issue. In terms of having the right strengths, be it technical expertise or being able to have the IT know-how, uh, in terms of being able to take the synergies of leveraging the backend, is all there. Uh, the only one thing which possibly is holding the operators in Kenya today would be the size because the critical mass lies with one particular operator. The moment there's a critical mass, you will start seeing the synergies coming into play and giving a multiplier effect to any of the operators. Well, uh, we're going to have to leave that conversation there. Thanks so much, Madhur Taneja, uh, for joining us this afternoon. Of course, Madhur is uh, SR Telecom's CEO, joining us from our studios in Nairobi, Kenya. After the break, we recap stories from around the continent, so stay tuned. We'll be back straight after this.